Okay, let's talk about mastering team scheduling. If you're one of the million plus organizations running on Microsoft 365, you already know it's an absolute beast for productivity. But you also know that trying to get your team's calendar on the same page can feel, well, pretty much impossible. Does this sound a little too familiar? You're juggling project schedules in Outlook, trying to coordinate deadlines in SharePoint, and keeping track of meetings in Teams. It feels like you need a calendar just to manage all your other calendars, right? Well, today, we're going to untangle this common mess and find a way to get some real clarity. So let's just frame the core problem. For so many teams, this calendar chaos isn't some rare occurrence. It's just the default way of working in a busy organization, even with all these powerful tools we have. And even when everybody is genuinely trying to stay on top of things, the simple act of managing projects, booking rooms, and scheduling meetings across the M365 suite just leads to everything being fragmented. And this isn't just a little inefficient. It leads to real problems, like blown deadlines and embarrassing scheduling conflicts. Now, of course, Microsoft knows this is a challenge. So they've given us a few native tools that are supposed to solve this exact problem. So let's take a quick look at what's already built into the platform. So the main options you have are things like SharePoint group calendars, public mailboxes for the bigger companies, and shared mailboxes for smaller teams. And, you know, on paper, these all sound great. They're designed to create one central shareable calendar so everyone can stay in sync. But getting them to actually work can be, well, a bit of a nightmare. Just look at the steps for setting up a basic SharePoint calendar. You're digging through site contents, adding an app, messing with list settings, group options, and then you have to wrestle with permissions. Every single one of these steps is a place where something can go wrong. And here's the honest truth. While these native tools have good intentions, they often end up causing a whole new set of frustrations. Sometimes they just add more chaos to the very problem they're supposed to be solving. And I bet these sound painfully familiar. You spend all this time setting up a calendar and then your team members say they can't even open it. Or the calendar just refuses to sync with their outlook, which makes it totally useless. Information is still scattered everywhere, and half the time people can't even find the calendar you work so hard to set up. Just let that sink in for a second. The very tool that's meant to help your team collaborate is now actually stopping people from doing their jobs, or worse, creating security risks. At that point, it's not a solution at all. It's a liability. But look, this isn't some unsolvable problem. There is a much, much better way. One that's designed to bring true order to all this chaos by working seamlessly with Microsoft 365, not fighting against it. And this is where the Virto Calendar app enters the picture. Now, it's really important to get this. It's not a replacement for your M365 calendars. Think of it more like a powerful layer that sits on top of everything and pulls it all together into one beautiful unified experience. Now, notice how every single one of these features is a direct answer to one of those headaches we just talked about. That single centralized view, it completely eliminates the fragmentation. The deep Teams integration, it gets rid of all that confusion about where to find things. And the real-time updates, they finally, finally put an end to those infuriating sync errors. I mean, when you see it laid out side by side like this, the difference is just crystal clear. On one side, you've got all the common struggles, scattered views, permission headaches, and a clunky setup. And on the other, Beardo offers a direct, elegant solution for every single one of them. So what does all this actually mean for your team's day-to-day -day work? How does this unified approach really change the way people collaborate and get things done? Well, this kind of centralized calendar is a total game changer across a few key areas. It drives incredible value for project management, for resource scheduling, event planning, and just general team planning. Let's zoom in on a couple of these. Okay, for any project managers listening, this is huge. Imagine being able to overlay your project milestones from SharePoint right on top of your task deadlines from Planner all in one single view. You can see the entire project lifecycle at a glance and even launch a Teams meeting right from a calendar event to talk about a specific task. And it's just as powerful for managing resources. You can color code your meeting rooms or shared equipment to see what's available instantly. And by overlaying the calendars from different departments, you can finally put an end to double bookings and make sure your team has what they need exactly when they need it. Now, for any organization, but especially for the IT folks, security is everything. 
Virto Calendar addresses this head-on. Because it operates completely inside your existing Microsoft 365 environment, your data never, ever leaves your secure ecosystem. It's not being stored on some third-party server, which gets rid of a massive security risk. Okay, so let's wrap this up by taking a step back and looking at the big picture. What's the ultimate payoff for adopting this kind of unified approach to scheduling? First, it's really important to remember just how big this issue is. If you're struggling with this, you are not alone. Over a million organizations are using Microsoft 365, and you can bet a huge number of them are fighting these exact same scheduling battles every single day. Ultimately, this is the goal. This is the transformation we're talking about. It's about moving away from that constant state of confusion and calendar chaos and moving toward a system of complete clarity, where everybody on the team knows what's happening, when it's happening, and where they need to be. And that really brings us to the final thought. I'll just leave you with this question. What could your team really achieve if all that time and energy you're losing the scheduling conflicts and calendar confusion was put back into actual productive work? Because the single source of truth for your schedules doesn't just save time, it unlocks your team's true potential.